Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So today is November the 26th, 2019, and uh, I'm going to be planting my Moringa Dwarf Tree Seeds today. Now, um, these sprout in about 14 to 21 days, and they need a temperature of about 80 to 90 degrees to germinate. And you want to put the seeds about 3 fourths inch to 1 inch deep. Now, um, they do recommend that you soak your seeds for about two to three days and that you change the water often. And um, what I did is I soaked these for a little over three days. Um, I changed the water about three to four times a day on them. And um, when I changed the water, I would, um, when I would dump the old water out, I'd put some new water in, uh, kind of stir the seeds around a little bit. And then, um, I'd empty that off and I'd put in some fresh and uh, they recommended you use warm water to uh, soak them in so I got most of the water drained off here um, I didn't want to dump my seeds out of the container and I'm gonna be planting them in my uh, little containers here and I already have them labeled I have links down in, in the description for uh, the plant tags that I use and um, I will also have a uh, links down in the description for the Jiffy natural and organic seed starting mix that I use and I do have videos on my channel for um, how I mix my seed starting mix so you can check those out so um, these are the seeds here for the moringa tree and um, I was very impressed with how large the seeds actually are so this is the first time I've ever tried to grow this tree from seed um, Okay, so um, here you can see what the Moringa tree seeds look like here. And they don't stay like this. I just put them on top like this because it's hard um, to get them out of the container they were in. So it was just easier to uh, take these all out at one time. So we're going to put these about about three-fourths to one inch deep is the planting depth for uh, the Moringa seeds. So I'm just making my hole here to uh, put my seeds in. And I am gonna push the seed down in a little bit. Now this is the first time I've ever grown this, so I'm not exactly sure um, you know what to expect from them. Everybody did say though to definitely soak the seeds. So I'm just covering the seed up here. Do this one here real quick. Go. And I am pushing the seed some into the soil to make sure it gets nice contact. Go. So I'm going to finish covering the rest of these up here and then I'll come back and I'll talk to you a little bit more. So we'll be back. Okay, so I got all these planted and covered. Now this one here, um, I planted the seed a little bit different. Uh, I planted it with, um, I planted the seed straight up and down. Um, because I, um, I'm not sure, you know, most seeds when they fall to the ground, they pull themselves, um, so that they can grow. So, um, the rest of these, I kind of planted them, I guess you'd say on their side. Um, so I'm going to see here which one does the best with for how to plant them. So what I'm going to do next is I am going to be putting these on the heated floor in the greenhouse because they need the 80 degrees to 90 degrees to germinate. And they're going to get that on the heated floor. So I have my, uh, container here that I'm going to be putting these in and I'm just sitting these in here. I hope my lid fits on top. Okay, so I got these all in here, and uh, this is something else I'm going to be covering. And uh, the next step is um, I'm going to put these on the floor, and then I'm going to put the lid on top. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I have this sitting on the floor here. Now, you'll notice I did not put the lid on tight, and uh, there's a few reasons why I did that. One of the reasons that 
reasons is I want to allow the excess heat to escape out of here. The sunlight comes into the greenhouse walls and will help heat this up some. Plus it's going to have the heat coming from the floor. So um, I definitely want the air to be able to escape out the excess air. And I also want to allow some fresh air to be able to come into the box. Now, about three times a day, whoops, I will take this lid off and I will do a complete fresh air exchange. And um, when your seeds are germinating, they need more oxygen. So giving them that extra burst of oxygen by taking the lid off will help your seeds to germinate. It will also help prevent the air inside from getting stagnant and it will also help um, like for excess humidity or uh, something like that. And you can see on this container over here, I have the lid the same way and I do have stuff growing in here. So um, when these start germinating, I'll come back and uh, I will show them to you. Now you want to make sure that your seed starting mix stays moist but not soggy. Um, and you don't want to let it dry out. If your seed starting mix dries out when your seeds are germinating, uh, it will kill the seed because it lacked moisture and um, then your seeds won't come up for you because the root of the seed died. So um, if you don't have radiant heated floor, um, I definitely recommend using a germination mat to uh, germinate these seeds on. So as soon as these start coming up, I'll come back with more videos and uh, I will show them to you. So we'll be back. Okay, so uh, today is December the 3rd, 2019. And uh, you can see the Moringa seedling came up more here. And you can see there's one just starting to come up right here. So what I'm going to do is, take this one out of here real quick, hold on a moment. It's starting to get the seedling leaves up top. Now, um, it doesn't have a seed coating to push off of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this to uh, one of my other um, things that I have for uh, growing them on the floor because um, it's going to stay warmer on the floor and I, I want to continue to keep the soil warm even though it came up but if I let it in the container um, it's going to get tall and spindly. So um, I'm just going to move it over here real quick. Hold on a moment. Okay, so this tray here is still sitting on the heated floor, but um, it doesn't have a lid on it. And um, there is a, uh, two fans that run in here. The one fan runs 24-7. Um, the other one gets turned on during the day and gets turned off at night. So uh, with the air blowing, that's going to um, help to uh, get it sturdier for me. And I mean, it's pretty sturdy. You can see, I mean, it's not shaking back and forth or anything but I want to slow that growth down a little bit on it so um, just kind of give it a little uh, shock there on the cooler temps but the soil is still going to stay warm because it's still on oops, because it's still on the heated floor so I'm going to put the lid back on these I did give these some water here because the heat is drying the soil out some and uh, I want to keep the uh, soil nice and moist so that my seeds continue to germinate. Okay, so um, today is December the 5th, 2019. And uh, you can see the uh, Moringa seedlings here. I have three of them up so far. Um, I have another one that's just starting to come up. And I'm still waiting for two more to uh, show through the soil. So, um... I haven't, I'm not exactly sure how this seedling grows. Um, you can see it still looks the same as when it did when I took it out of the enclosed box. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post this video now and then um, I'm going to continue to watch them. And if I notice that they start getting uh, like more leaves on them, I'll come back and uh, I'll show you what they look like. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button. I'll try to put a new video on. You can also follow me on Twitter. I'll have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. 
Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a nice day. Bye!